Hello everyone, my name is Kirk Hines. I'm an Applications Engineer with Hawkridge Systems. Uh, today I'd like to show you how to set up uh, some telescoping mates in our assemblies. So we have an assembly built up right here uh, with just a few segments um, with some flanges that we'd like to engage uh, with the other tabs on our little telescoping part here. Um, so we want to have it set up so as soon as this smallest piece, the C segment, gets in here, uh, we're going to have this flange here uh, engage with our second segment and pull it out. So we're going to do this with a few of our advanced mates. Um, we're going to use the distance limit mate right here. So I'm in my mate tool right now and I just have uh, the advanced mates tab section pulled out. So to set up this mate we just need to choose a couple faces so it's probably easiest to do this if I'm in a section view. So I will close out of this mate tool real quick and jump into a section view. All right, this is going to make it a bit easier to see those tabs in there. So I'll just leave that up and start up my mate tool again. And remember, we want to be using an advanced mate um, so we can set up this limit. And you can do this, you know, not just with distances. You can also do it with angles. But for the telescoping action, uh, the distance really works well. So all we need to do is basically set up um, this mate just like we do an offset or a coincident mate, um, but we're actually going to specify a min and max distance um, for this gap to have. So I'll just specify the faces I want to maintain a distance between. So for the first one we're just going to have that inside face on our first segment and this face on the second one. And there it snaps into place. So our minimum distance is going to be zero because we want these um, faces touching eventually and that's as far as they can go and then our maximum distance um, is going to be how far they can be away from each other so I have these segments built up at five inches it looks like my assembly has been built in millimeters so I could switch that here or I could just do the math right in the cell so I could just type in five inches and it's going to go ahead and do the conversion for me, but because I switched my unit system down here, now everything's in inches. Alright, so I'll just apply that mate, and let's just test it out real quick. So I can pull this segment all the way down to the end, and it stops, I can't push it any further, and I can pull it all the way out. And it's going to stop once those two faces are zero millimeters, or essentially touching. So now we just need to do the same thing for this second section right here. So I'll start up my mate command again and go into the advanced mates, use our distance limit mate, and pick those basically the same faces I had going for that last part. So that face and this inside face. The closest they can be is going to be zero, and the farthest away they can be, let's see, that's going to be the length of this section. Uh, or we can have it go all the way back here. It really depends on how you have your uh, telescope set up. So we'll set that up for now at, uh, say, four and a half inches. Okay, so that's just the maximum distance. We can say OK. And now um, you can see all these parts pull each other out nicely. And we're able to slide them back and forth. Um, of course, right now I'm in that section view, so I can just jump out of that. And there we have our telescoping action with those distance limit mates. So like I said, you can do a very similar thing um, with some angle mates. It really works out well, and it's just as robust as your offset mate or your coincident mate. So I hope you found this trick useful. Uh, for more useful tricks and tips like this, please subscribe to the Hawkridge Systems YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.